Hey Goshen kids, happy Easter. I've had so much fun reading these stories to you this week and I am excited to be able to read another story to you this morning as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus died on Friday, but today he is alive. He is not dead anymore and we are celebrating that today. So let me read this story. It's called God's Wonderful Surprise. It's a true story from the Bible. You can find it in Matthew chapter 28, Mark chapter 16, Luke chapter 24, and John chapter 20. Here it goes. Jesus' friends were sad. They would never see their best friend again. How could this happen? Wasn't Jesus the rescuer, the king God had promised? It wasn't supposed to end like this. Yes, but who ever said anything about the end? Just before sunrise, on the third day, God sent an earthquake and an angel from heaven. When the guards saw the angel, they fell down with fright. The angel rolled the huge stone away sat on top of it, and waited. At the first glimmer of dawn, Mary Magdalene and other women headed to the tomb to wash Jesus' body. The early morning sun slanted through the ancient olive trees, drops of dew glittering on leaves and grasses, little tears everywhere. The friends walked quietly along the hilly path, through the olive groves, until they reach the tomb and immediately notice something odd. It was wide open. They peered through the opening into the dark tomb. But wait, Jesus' body was gone. And something else, a shining man was there with clothes made from lightning. Don't be scared, the angel said, but they couldn't help it. They screamed anyway. The angel asked them, What are you doing here? This is a tomb, and tombs are for dead people. The women couldn't speak. Jesus isn't dead anymore, he said. He's alive again. And their hearts leapt. And then the angel laughed with such gladness that they felt for a moment as if they had woken from a nightmare. The other women rushed home, but Mary stayed behind. How could it be true? Jesus was definitely dead. How could he be alive? Just then, Mary heard someone else in the garden. Perhaps it's the gardener, she thought. He'll know where Jesus' body is. I don't know where Jesus is, Mary said urgently. I can't find him. But it was all right. Jesus knew where she was, and he had found her, Mary. Only one person said her name like that. She could hear her heart thumping. She turned around. She could just make out a figure. She shaded her eyes to see and thought she was dreaming. But she wasn't dreaming. She was seeing Jesus. Mary fell to the ground. Sudden tears filled her eyes, and great sobs shook her whole body, and all she wanted in that moment was to cling to Jesus and never let him go. You'll be able to hold on to me later, Mary, Jesus said gently, and always be close to me. But now, go and tell the others that I'm alive. Mary ran and ran all the way to the city, she had never run so fast or so far in all her life. She felt she could have run forever. She didn't even feel like her feet touched the ground. The sun seemed to be dancing, gleaming and bounding across the sky, racing with her and shining brighter than she could ever remember in the clear, fresh air. And it seemed to her that morning as she ran, almost as if the whole world had been made new. Almost as if the whole world was singing for joy. The trees, tiny sounds in the grass, 
the birds, her heart. Was God really making everything sad come untrue? Was he making even death come untrue? She couldn't wait to tell Jesus' friends. They won't believe it, she laughed. She was right, of course. I love that story so much. Our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, though he died on the cross on Friday, he was raised from the dead three days later. And on this Easter, sometimes we refer to it as Resurrection Sunday. On this day, we celebrate the fact that our Savior is not dead anymore. He is alive. Spend some time with your family talking about how important it is that Jesus was raised from the grave. And then spend some time in prayer together as a family, thanking God for raising his son Jesus up from the dead. Take that time to do that today. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you and have a great Resurrection Sunday.